Hey everyone, welcome to the course. My name is Colt. Thank you for joining us. So I'm really excited about this course. Honestly, more excited than I've been about pretty much any Udemy course I've put out so far. I'm excited for a couple reasons I'll go into. First of all, I just like JavaScript. It's a very fun topic to teach. We can do a lot of really cool things with it. And this course covers everything JavaScript. It's uh, a ton of JavaScript that we talk about from the very basics up to some pretty complex projects. So what I want to start with here is a rough overview of how the course works. The course is pretty unique in how it's structured. There are two distinct parts. The first part is a start to finish introduction to JavaScript for beginners, starting from the very, very basics of getting set up, variables, up to more complex topics like DOM manipulation and events, all the latest features in JavaScript, things like arrow functions, promises, and then part two of the course is focused exclusively on projects. So those projects include lots of new topics, things like Node or Express or creating your own database. Lots of really fun things coming up, but there is a distinction. Here's another visual, the same idea. We've got the building blocks first, starting from the very basics, and then part two is all projects. So to take this course, you have a couple different options. If you are a complete beginner, you don't really know JavaScript, then start at the beginning. Start with the basics, make your way through the first 20-ish sections, and then move on to all the projects. If you're someone who has some JavaScript experience, maybe you've taken one of my courses already, or a similar course, you may not need to start at the very beginning. So what you could do is jump right into the projects and just start building something. There's almost 20 hours of projects in this course, and if you do happen to hit a wall, you run into trouble, you can go back to the first part of the course and just review the parts that you need to. If you need to review arrow functions or async functions or the spread operator or some newer features in JavaScript that, that maybe weren't covered in the last course you saw on JavaScript, that's a great option for you. Start with the projects and then reference the first part of the course whenever necessary. So that's how the course is structured. We've got two main parts. I think uh, there's something here for, I won't say everyone, <laughs> There's probably not anything here for someone who doesn't care about JavaScript, but for anyone who is interested in JavaScript, whether you have no experience, whether you've taken one of my courses or Steven's courses, uh, and you're just looking to build projects, there's something here for you.